Hi everybody, it's Kathy Cresswell. I am from the Garvey Senior Activity Center. I am going to be showing you all a pouring paint technique that you could use either at home or even whenever we get back to um, open status, which currently is we're closed, unfortunately. And I hope you all are staying safe and staying inside and maybe taking some time to just kind of relax. I am coming to you from my home, so if you hear other noises, it's probably the rest of my family who are stuck at home as well. So um, we are teleworking right now and we're all trying to provide you all with something so that you aren't feeling disconnected and we can also reach out to you because we miss you all. So. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do a, um, a ring pour for you and show you how that's done. I have three different colors. I'm gonna tell you what supplies you'll need um, and I'll show you how to do it. And it, it's gonna be pretty easy. So don't worry, don't stress about it. It's something that you can order offline if you're at home and have it delivered to you if you wanna go ahead and do it while you're, you're resting at home and then we will um, we will have classes at the Garvey Center once we open back up. Okay, yay! So let's start out. Uh, you can pick your size of canvas. They have different sizes. This one's kind of a smaller one. I think it's a twelve by something. I can't remember the exact measurements. But you can get bigger ones. You can get thicker ones. This one's just kind of a a medium thickness. Uh, the grade of it is not. It's like a medium grade. You can get a more professional one if you want. I would suggest that if you're starting out, just get a low grade kind of canvas because if you mess up, then you know it's not nothing that you have to worry about. So what we do is usually the back of it is just blank, but we're going to, because we're gonna be pouring the paint, we're going to use 3M or you can use any kind of painting tape that you want and you're going to cover the back of this and you want to make sure that you're sealing it. Let me move my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you want to make sure that you're sealing it along the edges here and then you can just rip it or you can cut it. It's however you want to do it. I don't mind ripping it and I just kind of tuck it under. It kind of limits the amount of paint that's going to get over the edge here and it'll give you more of a clean look on the back side. Most people aren't too worried about the back side, but this way, whenever it's done, if you go to pick it up and it's still a little wet, you're not touching the paint. So we're going to do that. I don't know about you all, but I'm kind of going stir crazy here at the house. I'm very much the extrovert and not being able to socialize with everybody. It is kind of driving me crazy and my battery is low. Okay. So we've put that on the back side. Then what you want to do is you can prop this up on something like, you know, jars or whatever you want to because you don't want it to lay down flat. But I've gotten these handy dandy bigger thumbtacks. You can also get large ones for the bigger pieces. Okay. These were bought at Staples, so I'm sure you can pick them up there as well. And you just want to put them on all four corners. Push that down in. My son's watch, he has an alarm set for whenever he's done with school and it just keeps going off. So don't worry, we're not gonna end this yet. So once you've put this on the back side, then you're good to go. You can just kind of set it down. Now, the thing that I have this on is actually just a trace um, stand so that you can put, not a tree stand itself, but something you can put underneath your tree stand so that it doesn't leak onto your carpet. I bought this for $7. You can also get those big plastic tubs that you can put um, storage stuff in. 
and you can use that as well. Something that you can just peel the paint off of and it kind of has an edge so that it's not, you know, leaking everywhere because you are going to make a mess. I will warn you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to tell you what you need to do to put down on your paint canvas. And then we're going to talk about how you're going to do a ring pour. So I'll talk to you a little bit about what paints to get, and then I'll show you how we're going to do the ring pour. Okay, so let me put this down so that we can get started on that part. Okay, so the paints that you want to get, you can either get acrylic paints and then you can mix it with a medium. I, however, am not the best at that, and that one takes a little bit more technique and a little bit more um, knowledge on how to mix it properly because you can get it too much, too thin, or you, it's not thin enough, and then it doesn't do what you want it to do, and then you get bubbles and it kind of gets icky. So that one takes a little bit more technique. However, if you want to do that, they have pouring mediums. This is Artist Loft. I don't know if you guys can see that. Pouring medium, you can get that. You can also get Floetrol and add it. And then you just get a regular acrylic paint and you're gonna mix it together. And you want it to be a little, want it to be runny. So it needs to run, it's not clumpy, it's not slow, okay? We're not doing that today. We are going to use the Ready Pour Mix Paint by Artist Loft, okay? You can get this at Michael's, you can get it online. It's $14.99 a bottle for the big bottle, but if you get a coupon, you can get it for a little bit cheaper. I prefer to get it with the coupons, gets 40% off personally, and then it gets it's a little bit cheaper. But it's really nice because you don't have to worry about mixing anything. You don't have to worry about putting anything on top of it. It dries really nice. And I can give you a few examples and show you some that we've done here at the house. This one was a ring pour that I did. It was actually two different ring pours, one on one side and one on the other. And then it made this beautiful looking painting, kind of looking like a, um, uh, almost like a fire. Okay. So as you can see, it dries really nice and shiny. All right. This was one that my son did and it was a bottle pour that we did. And as you can see, it as well dried nice and shiny and nice and, and flowy and there's it's soft there's no clumps nothing okay all right and they dry within 24 hours but the thick the more paint that you put on it the longer it's going to take to dry make sure you tell everybody if you have it laying out not to touch it until you think it's dry my son has ruined a couple paintings because he's touched it thinking it was dry Okay, so today the colors that we're gonna use are this nice blue, a gold, which is gonna dry with a shimmer to it, and then a beautiful green color, okay? So we're gonna mix those two together doing a ring pour. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in a second. Okay, so make sure that you have a cup it can be small, it can be big. I like to use these silver clips because they, if you really want to, you can rinse them out and reuse them. All right, so you're gonna take your paint, you're gonna take it in the cup and you're gonna kind of run it down the side until it gets into your cup. Now, however much paint you wanna put in here, you know, whichever color you think is gonna flow better, um, that's where I would put in. So I'm going to put that and then I'm going to run the gold the same way. So you're just going to run it down the side. And keep watching. You don't want it to overtake the other color. So once you're done, I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do the blue. And run it down the side as well. Okay. All right. So now we've got three different colors. Let's see if you can see in there in layers inside there. So we're just gonna keep doing that. I wanna do probably about three sets. So we're gonna do that one, two, and then 
one more. And then I'm gonna do one more round of that. So one more round of the green. And as you can see, I'm not putting quite as much now. The gold and then the blue, okay? Now, if you really want to, you can put a layer of white paint down before you do this. It'll make it flow better. That's up to you. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. Today, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and see what we can do with this paint. Actually, you know what? Let's sit this over here. Let's go ahead and put some down. Maybe we do want it to flow a little bit. So if you want it to flow a little bit better and you want it to really flow off the edge of the painting, you're going to put down just a white paint and you're just kind of smoothing it on there. Now you want to make sure it's the same kind of paint that you're using to paint with. So if you're painting with pre-mixed paints, I would highly recommend you go ahead and just use a pre-mixed bottom layer. So it's two, two of the same. Okay. So I'm going to smooth that over the edge. Smooth that down here. I don't know how many times I've learned this to go off. All right. I'm going to smooth it on there. Don't worry about it too much because the paint is pretty much going to cover most of the paint itself. So I'm going to turn this down here so that you guys can see. Now if you really want to smooth that out, I would recommend using gloves. And then you can just use your hand to smooth it out a little bit. But we're just going to go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to pour from this side in. And then I want to do the same this way, from the side in. And then I'm going to go from this point in. And then from this side in. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my gloves on. And then we're going to see what we get with this painting. Okay? Get this out of the way. All right, so you're going to pick your paint up. You can walk it however you want. You can walk it side to side, which is what I'm going to do. And as you can see, it's starting to flow. You walk it to this side. Let it go a little bit. Good. And walk it again. And then I'm going to walk it forward. See how it's flowing down? Don't worry, you're going to lose paint. You're going to lose a lot of paint, probably. And take it back. Then I'm going to grab it from this side. I'm going to go this direction towards me, which you guys can't really see. Really. So let's turn that around. I'm going to turn it this way. Let me cover that direction. Oh, it's almost there. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. Cover that way. And then you see I have a little bit of white over here. Now I can either leave it that way or I can try to cover it over there. So we're going to try to cover it. Shaking the painting sometimes helps too. Okay. 
looks like it doesn't want to flow that way. So if you have a little bit of extra paint, grab your cup. Mine slips out of my hands. And you can just kind of drip over the spots that didn't have paint if you want. Of course, it's going to add a different look to it. But it might help that paint flow a little bit. Walk that over a little bit more and get it to flow down that way. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going. Okay. So we got it over that edge. And I think the other corners have pretty much been covered. Turn it a little bit this direction, cover that corner. Come on. All right. All right, so that's our painting for today. Now, if you find you have white spots, you can take your finger and just kind of put the paint where you might have wanted it. You see, I touched the paint over here, so. Let me scoop up some of this paint. And just kind of layer it on there. If you have a paintbrush, that might help. But because of the technique that I'm doing here today, I just want to kind of make it look a little more modern. And you can smooth it down the sides with your finger or paintbrush. Okay. And then run your finger or something that you might have a tool like I have over there under the edge there to kind of clean up the drips if you want. Okay. So there's your painting. As you can see, it turned out not quite what we may have imagined. Um, but it definitely has a different look. So you can see the cells are in there. We have some of the ring in there. We have some of the white. Um, and it's going to dry probably in about 24 hours. I'm going to push this a little bit more that way. Let me get my gloves off. That way you can see it a little bit better. Okay? All right. So if you all have any questions, please feel free to send us a message. I will try to get to you as quickly as possible. It sends to the St. Mary's County uh, Department of Aging. So you might not receive a response right away, but we will try to answer your questions. I hope this helped for you all today. I hope you're all doing well, and we really look forward to seeing you soon. So please take care of yourselves and enjoy the time down. All right, bye.